Top 18 Network Administrator Interview Questions and Answers The field of network administration is associated with enormous responsibility. A network administrator's core responsibility is to maintain computer networks. This includes installation and configuration of networks and systems, including troubleshooting all network issues. Thus, the role of a network administrator requires an individual with significant know-how and experience on how network systems work. Without relevant experience and knowledge, it is difficult to succeed in network administration. Companies always look for the best and most qualified person for this role. To find the best person, it is imperative to know the right questions to ask interviewees. Similarly, you should look out for specific answers to identify the right person. This article discusses the questions to ask during an interview and the answers to expect from the right person. 1. What is the basic role of a network administrator? Sample answer. First, a network administrator performs a management role that includes user training, updating networks, maintaining access privileges and user accounts, and maintaining network logs. Secondly, the administrator undertakes an implementation role that consists of installation and configuration of networking software, establishing user accounts, and installing storage or networks. Thirdly, the network administrator troubleshoots network issues and responds to service interruptions. 2. What qualities should a good network administrator possess? Sample answer. Critical thinking and analytical skills are vital for network admins in facilitating logical and consistent problem solving. Good time management is another great quality that enables a network admin to juggle several people, projects, and problems simultaneously. Interpersonal skills are essential because a network administrator works with different individuals, from end users to network engineers. 3. Describe your daily routine as a network administrator. Sample answer. The network admin configures network hardware such as switches, routers, and servers. He or she repairs and upgrades computer networks, troubleshoots network issues, updates and deploys software, and implements basic network testing and security measures. Moreover, network admins monitor networks to determine ways to improve their performance and plans for network infrastructure resources. 4. How is your decision for setting up a network affected by a network topology? Sample answer. The network topology directs the media that should be used to interconnect devices. The topology of a network also acts as a basis for determining the terminations, connectors, and materials that are applicable for setting a network. 5. Describe ways you can secure a computer network. Sample answer. Firstly, a computer network can be protected by setting up firewalls and ensuring they are configured correctly. Secondly, installing an updated and reliable antivirus program is another sure way to secure a network. Thirdly, user authentication helps to prevent unauthorized access to a network. The combination of these methods can make a computer network highly secure. 6. What is the largest network size that you have ever set up? Sample answer. In the past, I have been tasked with creating and implementing a network for a business with 200 employees. The network supported a simple physical location where the business offices were housed. 7. What troubleshooting process do you use after your network configuration fails to yield expected performance? Sample answer. I begin by checking hardware failures, network outages, high network activity, or other poor performance triggers. After ruling out these, I use analytics and monitoring tools to find more information concerning the problem. I also reach out to other technicians and its staff to expedite the process. 8. What major challenge did you face during your last role? How did you handle it? Sample answer. Sometime during my last role, employees started losing data from their computers. This used to happen even with software and hardware firewalls in place, and the pressure was on me to ensure employee data is secure. While troubleshooting the issue, I discovered the problem was caused by malicious applications sent via email. Thus, I educated the staff on how to deal with suspicious emails to avoid data loss. Besides, I developed an email policy that provided guidelines on appropriate use of emails. 9. What authentication method do you apply for network access? Sample answer. I use the two-factor authentication method is because it is highly secure compared to single-factor authentication. To secure sensitive information, I would recommend that you upgrade if you are not using the two-factor method. The use of biometrics is another effective method and is particularly the easiest for users, provided appropriate hardware is in place. If you don't plan to spend much on hardware, using a token is an effective method for adding security. Then, differentiate workgroups from domains. Sample answer. Domains have a server to client set up with a central authentication server, where rules for communication are set. Centralized security and access control minimize the risk of attacks. On the other hand, workgroups are managed at an individual system level. 
of the workgroup, each system controls itself and decides about what to exchange with users in the same workgroup. 11. Briefly describe a firewall and how it is applied in networks. Sample answer. The firewall is a device that monitors incoming and outgoing traffic to block specific traffic based on the set security criteria. The device filters traffic and prevents unauthorized access to a network. The firewall achieves this by scanning all messages entering or leaving a network and blocking those that violate the set rules. Well, based on your previous experience, what monitoring tools would you recommend? Sample answer. I would recommend Adara, LabTech, and Logic Monitor. LabTech not only provides network monitoring, but also infrastructure management. Logic Monitor provides both network monitoring and application performance monitoring. Adara offers all these capabilities, but doesn't allow customization of the dashboard for quicker access to commonly used features. 13. What is the difference in the application of a LAN and VPN? Sample answer. The virtual private network, VPN, is the best solution for businesses or organizations with multiple locations or a large physical footprint, both locally and overseas. On the contrary, a local area network, LAN, perfectly suits businesses that operate from a single physical location. 14. How do you make people without tech skills understand network issues? Sample answer. Whenever a network issue arises, I always ensure to explain it in layman's terms to people with no tech skills. I draw diagrams, use analogies and metaphors to describe different networking processes and the applications that support those processes. By using these techniques, people always remark that they have finally understood the matter at hand and hence work accordingly. 15. As a network administrator, which resource do you utilize to stay informed about the innovations in your industry? Sample answer. I read Network World about innovations, developments, and trends in the industry. Besides, I have an RSS reader that I use to consolidate various news sources covering network innovations. 16. What safeguards can be put in network designs to minimize data loss? Sample answer. Building disaster recovery resources into network plans is a great way to protect against data loss. This includes making regular backups and having distributed storage locations to reduce the chances of losing data. 17. How do proxy servers protect computer networks? Sample answer. A proxy server mainly hides the IP address of an internal network from external users. Proxy servers make it impossible to determine the physical location of a network. In doing so, they make it virtually invisible to all external users. 18. What role does the OC session layer play in a network? Sample answer. This is the fifth layer of the OC model, and it primarily manages connections between networked computers. In particular, it establishes connections between local and remote applications. Besides, it manages and terminates those connections. This involves establishing procedures for restating, suspending, and ending connection sessions. Inclusion. These questions and answers will help you hire the most qualified individual for the network administrator position for your organization. As an interviewer, ensure to ask the right questions. Also, allow the interviewee to take his or her time to provide the correct answer. With these questions, you are set to interview and select the best network admin. I hope you enjoyed our video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon as well. Thanks for watching.